Automated Speech Recognition, or ASR, is the term for computer software that translates spoken language into text. In this video, we will describe the basic types of ASR, provide a technical overview of how the technology works, and look at the basic inputs to any kind of speech recognition. Speech recognition can be broken up into two broad categories, speaker-dependent and speaker-independent. The difference between them is that speaker-dependent software learns how a particular user speaks and adapts to that user, whereas speaker-independent software is designed to understand a wide range of users, even if they have never used the system before. Speaker-dependent software is primarily useful for dictation software, where a single user will spend a lot of time speaking to an application. Speaker-independent software is especially important for applications like those used in Interactive Voice Response Systems, or IVRs, where a large user population may call into the application. LumenVox focuses on speaker-independent software. Within the realm of speaker-independent software, we can further classify speech recognition applications by the types of things users are expected to say. The most common speech application is called a directed dialogue where users are directed to speak short phrases in order to accomplish specific tasks. Less common are natural language applications, where users speak more naturally to accomplish a wide range of goals. There are a number of other more specialized uses for speech recognition software, including transcriptions of telephone calls or voicemail messages, picking out particular keywords or hot words from a stream of spoken text, and voice authentication or voice biometrics. The majority of speech applications in use today are directed dialogue. When combined with well-designed prompts and call flows, the higher accuracy of directed dialogue applications can offer a user experience that is as equally enjoyable to that of using the natural language approach. The LumenVox ASR supports both directed dialogue and natural language. This video will focus primarily on speaker-independent directed dialogue applications. Speech recognizers take an incoming audio signal containing human speech and convert it into text, which is why ASR is sometimes also called speech-to-text. An ASR compares the audio signal to a built-in database called an acoustic model and uses something called a grammar to limit the comparison. We'll talk about each of these individually. The first input should be relatively self-explanatory. It's audio containing words spoken by a user. In an IVR, this will likely be somebody speaking over a telephone, but it might also be a user talking into a microphone or other device. An ASR makes heavy use of an acoustic model, which is essentially a large database containing the sounds of a language plus the relationship between those sounds and the written form of the language. An acoustic model is built by running hundreds or thousands of hours of transcribed speech through an automated training system, which compares the written transcripts to the audio qualities of speech. By keeping track of how different sounds correspond to different combinations of words and letters, the computer is effectively learning how words are pronounced by a diverse group of people. When an audio signal is input to the ASR, it uses the model to effectively predict what the written equivalent of the spoken words are. This process makes heavy use of statistical inference and probability. A language model, also called a grammar, provides information about the type of words users are expected to speak. Because language modeling is a complex and important topic, it will be covered in more depth in the next video. Finally, after the audio is compared to the acoustic model, Using the grammar as a constraint on the search, the ASR performs the recognition and outputs the recognized text. In the simplest case, the output is literally what the user said. If a user says, yes, the ASR can return the word, yes, to the speech application. It is also possible to transform the output into text that is more meaningful for computer applications. For instance, the phrases, yes, yeah, and yes please, might all return the word true. This process of transforming the output is called semantic interpretation, 
which is the subject of other videos available at developer.lumenvox.com. Though speech recognition is a broad technology that has many possible variations, most users of the LumenVox Automatic Speech Recognizer will be building directed dialogue applications that direct users to speak specific words or phrases. The next video in the series will take a first look at writing grammars, which are the files that describe to the recognizer what words can be expected from users. For more information about speech recognition, text-to-speech software, and related technology, visit us online at developer.lumenvox.com, where you can engage with other speech developers, get sample code, view more tutorials, and browse a wealth of free resources for developers.